How many buttons do men's suit usually have? The men's suit jackets usually have three or four buttons at the end of the sleeves. Right. Do they hold anything together, like no more buttons? No. Where did people used to blow their noses? They used to blow their noses on their sleeves. Mm -hmm. And who saw his soldiers blowing their noses on their uniform sleeves? Frederick the Great of Prussia saw his soldiers blowing their noses on their uniform sleeves. Uh -huh. so, so did the king like what he saw? The king thought this was disgusting. Right, next page. What did he order? Frederick ordered that buttons be sewn to the ends of the soldiers' uniform sleeves. Mm -hmm. So what will happen when soldiers wipe their noses on their sleeves? Soldiers wipe their noses on their sleeves, their noses will be scratched. Mm -hmm. Where do we blow our noses today? We blow our noses on paper t-shirts or handkerchiefs. Right. What do women wear nowadays? Nowadays, women wear high heel shoes. Who started the fashion? It was King Louis XIV of France who started the fashion. Mm -hmm. Did being short bother the king? It was rather short, and this really bothered him. Mm -hmm. So what did he think? He thought that the king should tower over his subjects, not look up with them. Was the king taller than all of the others when he wore them? When he wore them, he was taller than all of the others. Right. Next page. Was the king the only one wearing heels? No. His courtiers wore it. Mm -hmm. Right. So both men and women had, had shoes. Made with heels. Did the men think that heels were comfortable? No, not very comfortable. Right. Who thought that beauty was more important than comfort? Woman, however, felt that beauty was more important than mm, comfort. Mm -hmm. Next page. What had become one of America's favorite snack foods? Potato chips had become one of America's Favorite snack foods. What's the name of the American Indian chef? The chef, an American Indian named George Crump. Mm -hmm. Did the chef expect the Commodore to be furious? Yes. Mm -hmm. He expected the Commodore to be furious. Right. Next page. Do some yoyos glow in the dark? Yes. What are yoyos once used for? It once was used as a weapon. Mm -hmm. What did the hunter do when he missed? If he missed, he simply pulled up his yo-yo and waited for the next animal to come along. Mm -hmm. What does yo-yo mean in the Philippine language? In the Philippine language, yo-yo means come, come, or come back. Uh -huh, next page. Can small inventions be very important? Yes. Small inventions Big successes. Buttons on your jacket. Have you ever noticed a man's suit jacket usually have three or four buttons at the end of the sleeves? They don't hold anything together like normal buttons. So what are they for? Before people had handkerchiefs or even paper tissues. They used to blow their noses on their sleeves. Everyone did it whether they were poor or rich. In the 1800, Frederick the Great of Prussia saw his soldiers blowing their noses on their uniform sleeves. The king thought this was disgusting. He ordered them to stop, but they kept on doing. Finally, Frederick ordered that buttons be sewn to the ends of the soldiers' uniform sleeves. So whenever the soldiers wiped their noses on their sleeves, their noses would be scratched. Today, of course, we blow our noses on paper t-shirts or handkerchiefs. However, those buttons remain on our jacket sleeves. Just in case we forget.
high heel shoes. Nowadays, women wear high heel shoes. However, it wasn't always that way. In fact, it was King Louis XIV of France who started the fashion. He was rather short, and this really bothered him. He thought that the king should tower over his subjects, not look up at them. So he had some special shoes made for himself. Unlike the flat shoes, these had high heels on them. When he wore them, he was taller than all of the others, and he felt much happier. <laughs> Unfortunately, the fashion caught on among his courtiers, so both men and women all had shoes made it with heels. Soon the men got tired of wearing heels, as they were not very comfortable. Women, however, felt that beauty was more important than comfort, and many still wear high heels on heels today. Potato chips. Over time, potato chips have become one of America's favorite snack foods. But you might not that, not know that. Actually, an American Indian invented it in the mid 1800. A rich American Commodore Vanderbilt spent the summers in the beautiful town. One evening, he was dining at the Moon Lake restaurant. He ordered French fries. When the potatoes arrived at the table. He sent them back to the kitchen. He wanted them dinner. The chef, an American Indian named George Crumb, tried several more times to please the commodore, but the commodore sent the potatoes back each time. Chef Crumb became fed up. He decided to play a trick. He sliced some potatoes until they were as thin as paper. Then he fried them until they were so crispy that they would shatter if you put a fork into them. He expected the commodore to be furious. Instead, the commodore loved his new potatoes. From then on. He ordered these potato chips every time he dined at the restaurant. So did all of the other guests. That was the beginning of potato chips, one of the most popular snacks in the world. The yo-yo. The yo-yo is a wonderful toy. It comes in many sizes and colors. Some yo-yos even. Glow in the dark. I doubt the yo-yo is now a fun toy. It once was used as a weapon. Long ago, hunters in the Philippine Islands tied sharp rocks to strings to hunt animals. The hunter would sit in a tree, and when an an animal passed below, he would draw down the rock very fast. If he missed, he simply simply pulled off his yo-yo and waited for the next animal to come along. In the Philippine language, yo-yo means "come, come" or "come back." So this practice is where the toy later got its name. These are just some of the explanations. Behind these interesting topics, but they are perfect examples of how how small inventions can be very important. And did you know that many famous things were invented by young people? Look around you. Think about what could be.
done better or more easily? Could you invent a new breakfast food or faster way to your friend's house? Maybe you too, or faster way to your friend's house. Maybe you too can invent something that will be a great success. Good luck.